everybody talks about the different lead generation tactics, but nobody actually shows you how to get clients. The truth is Web3 is still like the wild, wild west, that it's still not clear what the best way to get clients is. That's why in this video, I'm gonna be revealing the exact blueprint that myself and my clients use to generate six plus figure deals with some of Web3's biggest companies in the world like Rarible, BitMEX, Ava Labs, and many, many more. We're gonna break down exactly what's required to get more clients in Web3. First things first, you're gonna need PMF, which is product market fit. You're gonna to need to sell an offer that the market actually wants to buy. Consider things like software as a service or SaaS, KOL marketing, ghostwriting, lead generation, smart contract auditing, all of that kind of stuff. Whatever your offer is, the market needs to want that. And that's what we call product market fit. If you don't have product market fit, I suggest you spend time setting up consultation calls with your ideal clients and asking them what bottlenecks they're facing inside their business, sell them a solution to solve those challenges. Product market fit is really crucial at this stage and if you already have this, then you can just skip this bit. But the next bit is building sales assets. What are sales assets? Think of stuff like case studies, video sales letters, client interviews, testimonials, white papers. You have all these different assets available at your disposal to use as tools that you can leverage in the market. This attracts clients or more clients who want to work with you because you've already clearly shown that you've achieved great results for others. Sales assets equals leverage. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're gonna use this for your outbound, right? You're gonna be going out to the market with this, but it's also gonna enable you to attract more people to you because you're proving to the market that you can achieve the results that they desire. Not a lot of people in Web3 have these assets put together. Yeah, sure, they may have a deck or a case study or two, but nobody's really leveraging video sales letters or like just recording your white paper over a Loom video, much like this. Or if you've checked out my other videos, I've got my own thesis there, basically recorded a white paper on how client acquisition or cold outreach works in Web3 so you can get more clients. That is a perfect example of a video sales letter and that framework has helped me close tons of deals. With that said, client interviews are also very, very powerful. And if you can get someone who you've helped before achieve a really good result and get that client of yours on an interview with you and then post it on YouTube and then use it in your outreach campaigns and send it to prospects that may have been ghosting you or just in any scenario really, just proves and confirms that you are good at what you do and you've helped others do the same thing. You can paste it all over your website or your funnel. The sales asset should do a lot of the heavy lifting for you so that when the prospect comes on to the call with you or discuss Discovery call, for example, they're 80% of the way there. They just probably have a couple of questions, some things bugging them that they really need the answer to, and then it just makes the close so much easier for you. I definitely recommend looking into VSLs, building them out, case studies, just putting together all your best work and interviews, what their before scenario was before working with you and what their after scenario was working with you and what kind of results they generated and if they would recommend you. That's literally all they need to say on the client interview. You can ask them more questions and how cool it is to work with you and stuff like that. And then you can just send that to future prospects that you're trying to get deals closed with. After all, you've got these bits and pieces like set up, you've got product market fit. So you've got sales assets, you've built your VSL, your case study, you've got some interviews put together, video sales letter as well, just beforehand is just like all your life's work and all your results put together and like the old way that your prospects are trying to do things compared to the new way of doing things which is your mechanism or your method of doing things that makes it superior and if your prospects don't do this thing or the market doesn't do this thing then they're going to get left behind and they're not going to be able to get all these great results that you're getting for your clients based on your mechanism tying these three together is like a powerful recipe for success and getting more deals in any market condition next thing is find leads that we can send all our cool stuff to. To do that, this platforms that I like to use are edgein.io and I mentioned this in a couple of other videos, but I use findemail.com and I also use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to scrape quality leads. Just before you kind of get into this whole client acquisition thing and getting more clients in Web3, I understand it's super exciting. You just need to realize that you need to be sending a fuckload of volume to get results. 10 DMs, 15 DMs is really, really not gonna cut it. I speak and consult with a lot of Web3 company founders, business development guys at big firms on a daily basis. And the first thing I ask them is how much volume are you 
send in? How many DMs are you sending? How many emails are you sending? The typical answer I receive is like 15, one five to 30 DMs per day to their target audience, to their market. But the volume simply isn't enough to generate calls at scale. For example, if you're sending 15 to 30 DMs per day, that's 105 DMs per week. That's 420 per month. It's only 5,000 DMs per year. The market is way bigger than that. And whoever's sending this minimal amount of volume, it's not even going to scrape the surface. The ideal, adequate, most performing DM setup or DM volume you can send is going to be about 100 to 200 DMs per day. And I explain this to everyone who I speak to regarding client acquisition, or if they want to get more clients, or if they even care about scaling their company, they need to try sending 100 DMs per day for 30 days, which is 3000 a month. And obviously, if you're really serious about getting clients in Web3 and really want to tackle the entire market, it, you're going to send more than 100 DMs per day. But that's per year and we do that per month. What do you think is going to get more clients? 5,000 DMs a year or 3,000 DMs per month? Do you think 5,000 DMs per year or 32,000 DMs per year is going to make a bigger dent in the market? I'm pretty sure it's this one. Now that we understand how much volume we need, let's start optimizing or thinking about the script and angles we can use to get these clients. Just FYI, before we get into that bit, without data, we can't can't make informed decisions on what is working and what isn't. So if you are sending 15 to 30 DMs per day and you're only sending really low volumes of 5,000, if you're this person, probably not going to have enough data to know what script is working, what isn't as compared to this guy over here who's sending a fuckload of volume, which means that we have better overview of what is working and what's not working in the market. And we can optimize based on these figures. You need to know your numbers. I send 100 DMs per day and I generate from these 100 DMs, I generate five meetings. And it takes me about 10 meetings to close two deals. 10 meetings equals two deals, which means I need to send 200 DMs to generate 10 meetings. And if I send 100 DMs, we're getting five meetings. I know that I have a 20% close ratio, so I know I need 10 meetings to close two deals. If I have five meetings, I'll close one deal. If I have 10 meetings, I'll close two deals. And then 200 DMs is 10 meetings. One close equals $10,000. Two closes is going to mean 20K. This will differ based on your offer and your sales process and your closing rate and how much volume you actually send. So you may need 20 meetings to close 10 deals. It really depends. But this is a really good example of the math and how it looks. To even get to that point, you need to write high converting messaging frameworks that target your ideal client's pain points. This is without coming across as spammy or desperate or needy. This is so that you look trustworthy and reliable instead. How do we write high performing cold messaging frameworks? Let's start with the subject line. Two that have really stood out for me. Subject line one is note for name, so note for Kai. And another subject line I've have been using with really good results too is Kai struggling with pain. So the pain could be Kai struggling with auditing your smart contracts. Kai struggling with marketing. Kai struggling with any pain point that you solve with your offer, anything you can think of. And then we need the body of the email. This format works great and it's easy to adapt to your offer. We can do something like, hey, we just helped client get result in time frame. Hey Kai, we just helped Polygon get 10,000 new users for their new dApp in four weeks. What we're doing is we're saying we've helped this really cool client, which is Status Delta, showing the market that you know your fucking shit and you're trustworthy and reliable because you've helped this client do something really big and cool. No personalized first line. I've tested personalized first line versus non-personalized first line. And really there's no difference. I would just run with this. And the call to action is open to exploring how this could work for you. And the main thing here is not to overcomplicate it. Send emails like this. Hey name, we just help client get result in time frame. Open to exploring how this could work for you. Super simple, straightforward to the point. No, hey name, really love what you're doing. I'm just gonna tell you loads of shit about me. My name is Kai. I live on a farm. Don't use I. Use, hey, we just helped this person achieve this really cool thing. Want me to do something similar? Would you like to explore how we can do something similar for you? Make it super straightforward and very hard for your prospect to say no to. And then the second email is something like, kind of ask them if they're the right person to discuss this with, is something that I do. So you've got your two emails there, really straightforward, steal this framework and apply it to your business like now. Next, we're gonna tackle how to do X and LinkedIn outreach as well. A casual version of the cold email script we just created, but we can test different angles here too. For example, you can lead with front load results angle, which was we just helped this person achieve this in time frame, or the research angle.
angle, which are two of my favorite angles. Research, for example, hey name, just doing some research. Have you ever considered doing mechanism before? Mechanism is your offer. For example, in my case, I'd be like, hey John, just doing some research. Have you ever considered doing cold outreach to get clients before? Have you ever considered hiring a ghostwriter to boost your visibility and get more clients and grow your account? Have you ever considered doing mechanism to get result? That's the research angle. Just keep it super short and super sweet. And these ones could be used on cold email, LinkedIn, and Twitter, AKA X. And we're coming towards the final stages. And there's one thing we need to speak about, which is the sales aspect, okay? The sales aspect is more about the process and sales is not about gimmicks or hacks or tricks or anything you may have seen online about sales. It's more consultational than it is about sales. It's about finding the pain point and figuring out if you can help that person and if you can then you show them how you can do it and then if you can't you just give them some resources and refer them on to someone who can help them with their problem we have two options here we have the bait and pitch and we have the two cool close we're first going to discuss the bait and pitch method which is essentially you going through your regular sales process and just asking them questions about what they've tried what they haven't tried before what's working right now what's not working at the moment why do they think that's not working and just ask probing questions like that what kind of impact is this having on you at the moment? How long have you been trying to fix this problem? And if you feel they're really qualified and they're showing a lot of buying signals, like, yeah, we really just need to solve this right now. Having a big impact on my family life. I can't sleep. My business isn't where it needs to be and I need to fix it right now. Then what you do is you just flip it and then start pitching them. You can just be like, hey, it looks like you need a solution now rather than later. I was going to take this to a second call, but I believe that we can help you right now. Then you just start showing them the demo on how your product works or how your service this works and then you can present them an offer there and then on the call. That's the first option. And then the second option is what I call the two call close, which is literally just what it is in the name, it says exactly what it does on the tin. Ask them the probing questions. How long has this been going on for? What problem are you trying to solve? How long have you been trying to fix it? And then you want to position your offer as the solution to that because you've helped so many people achieve the same thing. It just makes sense that they work with you. And then if they are a fit, then you can take them to another call and say, hey, it looks like you are a fit and I believe we can help you. What I'd like to do is book in a second call to show you how it all works. And obviously you can decide if it's for you. We will discuss next steps, which is working together. And then if it's not for you, then you can tell me there and then and we'll work through it. Or you can simply tell me, no, it's not for you. Does that sound fair? Proceed to book in a second call there and then and make sure that any other decision makers that need to make a decision are there on the second call. You just say something like, is everyone who cares about solving this problem available to be on the next call? And if they're not, then only book that second call if that person's going to be there because you don't really want people going back and saying, oh, I need to speak to this person, I need to speak to that person. No, you just need everyone who can make a decision on that second call with you. It makes it so much easier for yourself and you're just not chasing people and it just longs out the entire sales process. And then that becomes pretty straightforward and it's two call close. Probe, if it's a fit, demo, which is the second part of the two call close. If no fit, disqualify them or refer them to someone who can help them. Maybe someone in your network, maybe you can have a like, little finder's fee or a commission. If I can't help someone for whatever reason, I'll just refer them to someone I know who can, who's got a really good reputation in the space because their reputation is yours because you're referring someone. And that was the last step. Of course, you can take this video and apply it to your business, but there are a ton of nuances when it comes to getting more clients in Web3. And especially when it comes to writing the cold email scripts, setting up the cold email campaigns, writing your video sales letter, creating all the sales assets, training, hiring, running the LinkedIn automation campaigns, running the Twitter automation campaigns, operations, and all those other headaches that come with it that are going to be frustrating to overcome. And to be truthfully honest with you, the amount of actual work required to set all this up can be overwhelming and make your success difficult. If you want me to show you exactly how you can set up all of that, coach you and practically hold your hand throughout the entire process and help you generate deals with your dream clients. Just like we've done for some of the leading Web3 companies, consultancies and agencies in the space without risking their reputation, making a single hire, then make sure you click the link in the description below or head straight to coldops.io and I'll show you exactly how to add a minimum of $120,000 in annual recurring revenue to your business in the next 19 weeks or less. Also click on this video somewhere around here if you want to learn about the best lead generation strategy for 2024. Hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you and I'll see you on the next one.